This is a second video of SAP Fury development using VS Code or Visual Studio Code. The application which I uh, created last time in the last video, I don't have that. I, uh, for some reason, I removed it. So I'm going to take a step back. I will create a new application and then we will deploy this new application on SAP Netware Gateway. Actually, you could deploy this on SAP Netware Gateway or you could deploy it on uh, cloud systems. It's just uh, a, a destination which you need to change. So let's uh, start first by creating an application. So I will launch my command palette by using Control Shift and P. And if you are not uh, familiar or if you haven't uh, seen Visual Studio for Fury development, I would recommend you to watch my first video, which I will link it up here. Uh, so let's launch the application generator. Uh, I will select the list report object. Uh, data source, connect to system. Uh, in my case, I have already configured a system. So I would select that. But if you are doing it for first time, you select a new system and then you can define your SAP Netware system. So um, I selected my system, then user, developer, and user password login then we have to select service this uh, these services are from uh, catalog uh, which is active so you will see all the services from your network gateway system uh, we'll select a simple one which is a sales order and the navigation entity will select it as two items so from headers we can go to items next Let's give some name, sales order, uh, application title, sales order, uh, application description, same, and the location where this project will be stored on in projects directory, it will create a new folder. A deployment configuration because we are going to deploy on SAP Net Viewer and Fury Launchpad configuration, so we could add it on a launchpad. The advanced configuration, uh, the configuration advanced options has a, a UI version you could choose or a theme. So I'm not going to change anything. So leave it as is. Continue. Now on this page, we have to enter our deployment system. It could be a BAP or it could be a cloud uh, system. So you can select whatever system you have. In my case, it's a local ABAP system. So ABAP login. For some reason, there's a uh, bug on this screen. It doesn't let me continue, even though I have a correct username and a password. And the workaround for this is just remove uh, uh, one character from here and we will put it back after. But this allows me to uh, continue. So package, uh, temporary, I don't have any transport. And then uh, the name of the application, let's call uh, Z sales order because it has to be in a customer namespace and sales order app. Next, semantic objects. So I'm just gonna say Z sales order, order, action display and sales order and finish now this will generate the project and project structure uh, along with the uh, build and deployment uh, yaml files so we'll go back and in a deployment uh, file we will replace that uh, the, the port uh, the correct port because so if we go back the project is uh, generated now this is the deployment url and i have to remove uh, one zero from the port because it wouldn't let me continue now I'll put it back. This is my port. Um, that's our application name when we will deploy. Uh, that's our description, package is temporary. You can put a transport. So whatever we did in the application wizard, you could go back and change it here. You have an option to change. Now we are uh, we uh, generated an application. Now we have to build and deploy. So for that, uh, run a command npm run build. Uh, hold on, sales order npm run build. Okay, so now it uh, generated a file build. 
npm run deploy okay so do you want to deploy yes okay connection refuse because i did not save the change so save and i will perform this step one more time npm run build uh do i have a refresh here i don't see a build folder is supposed to generate a build folder but let's see npm run deploy yes okay username developer password okay deployment failed uh, this this was the last stay stay stage so when we ran last time and tried to deploy this is the error we received so to fix this error we'll go back to uh, sap nativeware system and launch uh, maintain service I, IWFND maintain service transaction now based on this error message it seems we don't have this service active in the uh, backend system we, which we can fix it we'll go here go to add service uh, select the uh, system alias in my case it's local so I selected local and get services now in the list uh, if you scroll on right we should see that service uh, ABAP repository service so it's here select that it's a i want to put it in a local object and enter so service was created and uh, its metadata was loaded successfully now go back and you can see i have a service here now we'll return back to our application and we'll deploy we'll try one more time yes okay user and password and if everything works good we should see the application uh, deployed so as you can see at the end we get the message sap application has been uploaded and registered successfully and it also gives us a url to launch so if i take this url and uh, if i go let's say uh, i don't know on here I will launch my browser. Ah, didn't copy that wall, so uh, or I can just click there. This will launch the URL, which we can see it here. Enter user ID and a password for my NetWare system. Ever, which we can see it here. So go. These are the cells orders. So from this point onward, we can uh, enhance this project. Uh, we can generate, uh, let's say, uh, local annotations or we can update annotations in the CDS and then the project, we can rebuild and deploy uh, every time whenever we make a change. So the, the entire uh, the development process using SAP, uh, using VS Code is fairly easy and straightforward. Uh, even though now we don't have web ID uh, for personal edition, but the VS code is like a drop-in replacement for WebIDE.